Hi, my name's John. Welcome to the channel. Quick update. Further to the last video, um, grabbed hold of a little piece of aluminium plate, machined it up quickly, and I'll just give you some measurements. This is the mounting plate I was talking about in the, um, the last video for the uh, 80 mm spindle for the Chinese uh, spindle that I've bought for the 80 mm bracket. So, aluminium plate, which I spoke about, I'll bring the camera in a bit closer in a minute. Aluminium plate, uh, this 12, 12 mil thick width. 80 length 150 12 millimeter alley plate 80 mil by 150 i put six holes in there two uh four holes at 60 60 millimeter pitch there they've been counterboard to accept five millimeter screws so i don't need to use the rack screws there the smaller screws i can use normal cap head screws there which will just drop in I'll bring the camera in and show you a minute, and then there's obviously two long these cappers at the moment. And then the captive uh, washers that they supply there go on the back. That drops into the um, the Z or Z axis extrusion. And I'll just put that away. I don't lose it. And I'll bring the camera in closer in a minute and just show you what I've done. And then that plate basically will mount onto the z-axis there wherever i want that to be the spindle mount that was supplied from china with the 80 millimeter spindle and vfd controller uh, i've put on the machine there and i spot faced it because they're not it's cast it's not brilliantly flat so i, I spot faced it there i've drilled four holes clearance holes for six millimeter cap heads six millimeter cap heads will screw then onto that plate so in short, that plate goes onto there at 60 mil pitch. That screws up to any position I want when I build the machine, any position I want. This will then screw onto there. And then, now for the T. And then, six mil cap heads will bolt up through there. I've not dowled it or pinned it any, or anything because um, Obviously, I'm going to have to tighten it right up tight. I don't want it moving, but because I'll have a little bit of movement, a little bit of plumber cap head screws, it means that I'll be able to clock it up and tram it. So I'll be able to run in parallel to, to the spool board. So that will basically screw up like that onto there. I don't think that will foul anything. I think it will be okay. I think it will work. Um, not sure yet to have built the whole machine, but from what I've seen, I will put do a similar thing. So there you go. That's what I've... I've made today so that's the mounting plate there for the bracket and as I say that bracket will then mount to there now here's the 12 millimeter plate 80 by 150 turn it over the top face is the tap 6 mil drilled and tapped to accept 6 mil cap head screws these are counter board and drill clearance to accept 5 mil screws 5 mil screws drop in there and you'll see they marry up to the pitch, 60 mil pitch. So it's 60 mil pitch from there to there. The washers that you get with a kit will drop in the back and lock onto the extrusion. And then basically the bracket will then sit on top of that. That's the plan. And that then, I'll spot faced here, make it look a bit neater. And then that, and then bolt up to that. I've not dowled it or pinned it or anything because, as I said earlier, I want a little bit of play. I want a little bit of play to move back to clock it all up and get it nice and square and trim. So there you have it. That's ready to accept the 80 mil spindle from China. As I say, quick little video, just showing you the mounting plate, adapter plate that I've made, I've knocked up on a machine. And the way the method I'm going to go about uh, mounting my 80 millimeter bracket as opposed to the small router bracket, that should hold. Um, so the next video, I mentioned in the last video that this video was going to be about doing the table, but it's not. I've just updated this today. So, so the next video will be about finishing the table off and building the machine and getting it up and running. Please like, subscribe. It does help if you so if you like, subscribe and put any comments below it really does support the channel and it makes you look you know it makes it all worthwhile to be honest with you 
Um, like, subscribe. If down the bottom somewhere you see the little notification bell, if you click the bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos up. Uh, you might be interested in seeing the seas, you might be interested in the kayak and the fishing or whatever. Any support you give is gratefully received. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.